All right, we're um, um, rolling into this next one. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Um, we're rolling into this next one, uh, coming off of uh, the the last technique, like the description, or you know what we try to um, are trying to establish within this instructional, the high low concept, or where where we're trying to overload the the torso or upper body um, with pressure, um, discomfort, and then it's this like um, you know uh, disappearing act. But um, it's like a thief, bro. You know, he's already stolen the limb and is headed towards su submission town. <laughs> yeah, and, and they <laughs> might know? be saying the, the kind of reaction off of what your, your initial take of like the leg, you're, you're two steps back already. Yeah, no, I, um, uh, uh, we can get into that as, you know, um, from, me, to, from me describing, uh, you know, what's going on on the bottom. But it's just, if we go back, you know, within the last techniques, it's still... It's focusing on that that same application of like, I just really want out, um, you know. And again, within the movement, it creates there's there's this moment of relief. But again, that that sensation of where I'm like, oh, fine, I'm out, you know. I should be um, responding tactically um, onto the next move, but it just there's there's no way to to attain that, you know. It just um, there's a lot of pressure. Let's do this, Vince. Um, there's a lot of pressure, and ultimately, I, I really can't do anything tactically um, until I have that space. And then once, honestly, I have that space, it's it's too late. So um, we got a couple. Uh, we'll work on a couple angles here. But again, um, you know, just coming off of it's near near, near side, side cradle concept, and like I said. You're here with your chest and you're trying to shoulder. That's where you can have the guide. And like I'm saying, I want to have this, this like pressure where I'm pushing forward. <laughs> you hear his voice kind of change? That's what you want is this like pressure forward so I can redirect. When I redirect, you see I kind of get on my toes because I want to have this drive. And it's a little bit unorthodox. I don't want to put my head towards the wall this way. I want to keep it towards his head. And the same concept, I want to roll over and like I, I take my hand and you can... You can either let go here and open hoop when I go here like this. You see how I'm diving and I want to bring this one under and you come in, okay? Then you can hide, either have this fold where you can bring Lock it, your arm, but, yeah. but take your hand like this and that's why I say the more that you have this whipping motion, it allows you to fall into it smoother. So when I'm here like this, I want to take myself, boom, and I have this cradle. So you activate your hip, uh, toes and you start to walk to a set, almost like this north and south position. But then you want to take your hands and you open. And you see how like I'm diving. I don't want to, I don't want to dive too far out. I want to do like this, like I sit into it. So from here, without him, you kind of do this like I walk over it and look how I set myself. You want to fold into your lap. You don't want to arch yourself where you go and, and then dive away over. from him. Yeah. yeah. You want to literally fall on his hip. So come here. Boom, when I'm here like this, and this is exaggerated, you wanna go here, and look how I'm, huh. you see how my hip is aligned to his, so when I come around, I'm right into the pocket, okay? Yeah, so, so again, and then also with the pin, again, this isn't like a free spin, the the torque, he's, I feel him pinching my thigh, pinching his thighs, uh, like when he folds into this ashi, there's a the that pinch pinch is what allows you to rotate whips him around you're like, too far out here when you don't pinch and i want to go here and i walk but if i didn't pinch look how I'm, uh, i don't have this but if i go and i activate that that rotation from the inside hand here is what allows you to fit into the pocket okay i mm -hmm. uh, just do one um without nice talking uh -huh. just rip it and then that's what it is the more that you do it with this momentum it's super easy don't touch just rip so it. in here like this one <laughs> We'll do it again. Just rip it a couple times. Here. Boom. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. That's good. So, you know, um, it, there are the, 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 the details or points of focus is that you got to make sure that you're not looking away from it because your rotation is here yeah when i'm here like this and i have oh 
and I dive over and I catch this. Look how my head still, it's like I'm ear to ear. I want turn to, so you can turn. I want to be here. And like I say, you're diving this shoulder in because I want to go hip to hip. I don't, I want to make him almost when I slide. Look how we're like close to each other. Okay, you want to have this connection. And so this pinch goes here. here. And that's what this is. It's a whip. You see how I can bring myself up into it. Then you slide yourself back. And this whole time, look where he's at. He's this way. He doesn't have his reaction time to come yeah, up. Yeah, I'm coming up. He's breaking my ankle. And what he had was a sense of relief where he, this pressure that I was putting up there is gone now. And then as soon as I was let him go, it was I was already locked on to this. Mm -hmm. So you're turning, like I said, you're two steps back. Yeah. Rip it again. And then it comes off, like I said, it's this unorthodox movement. I don't want to be where, like, like he says, oh, I feel this pressure. I was trying to, I don't, I can't get this because he knows I'm trying to. So what I'm doing is I walk forward. Well, hey. And then he's already too far. Hey. <laughs> okay. You can let go now. <laughs> yeah. Right. You cool with that? Yes. Yeah. I can't do it. No. <laughs> I'm too fat. Nah, man. Uh, now the kid's got um, something slick uh, going on. Uh, it the as 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 a high level guy or um, an advanced player at on the bottom, um, you know. So let's just say I'm aware of his game. You know. Um, let's just do it one more time. I'm aware of his game. I know these guys like to cradle, right? So let's just say um, he's he cradles me. Yeah, right. I'm to go for this. yeah, so okay, our, our buddy Neil uh, Melanson's got a gnarly submission from here. He likes to put the knee on the face. Um, but let's just be honest where you know you're gonna put the knee on the face. Some guys are gonna block it. I know I don't want the knee on, on my face. You know, we have a little thing where I fake with this one and then I'll bring this one in. Ah! But like listen, um, you know, uh, let's just raise the level of the bottom opponent or your bottom opponent. And I'm going to say, you're not going to put your knee on my face at all. Like, fuck that. So I'm blocking. Um, and then the kid just runs. Yeah, no, nah, you're not going to get that. Oof. Uh-huh. He's gone with my leg. Hey, hey, hey. Be careful. Uh-huh. You guys kind of see the flow or how we can... You know, um, and everything connect. was right in front of you the whole time. You yeah, didn't have to let go or leave your positive control, which we were trying to emphasize the whole time. Everything just came off of traditional near side cradle. You know, and then there's nothing really fancy about it. I um, mean, you know, we do have our details um, implemented of you know chicken wing crank and in, in, in imposing our will or you know making your opponent uncomfortable um, to kind of camouflage our uh, entries into the techniques or, you know, uh, um, opportunities to kind of steal the submission. Um, I dig that one, man. So, all right, you guys, have fun with that, but be cool when your uh, opponent's heel at the finish, always. All right, thanks.